Hey, what's up YouTube viewers and Betanews.com readers? Brian Fajoli here with something really, really exciting. As you can see, it is the BQ Aquarius M10. This is the Ubuntu tablet, the fabled tablet that everyone's always been wanting and is finally here. This is the full HD 1080p model. Uh, this is a tablet running Ubuntu. So it's not the first tablet running Linux that's been done before. Uh, Android is Linux. Um, but this is the first official tablet shipping with Ubuntu on it. So it has an ARM processor, I believe by MediaTek. Uh, 16 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, so it is an ARM processor, meaning that um, when you need packages, um, you can only use ARM packages. So Google Chrome, for instance, will not be available for this tablet. So let me go ahead and unbox it. Let's take a look at it. We can discuss it a little bit once I have it out of the box. So let's look at the box. Now, System76 is a company that makes really nice Ubuntu laptops. And the design here is almost reminiscent of their design. I don't want to say that BQ stole it, but this kind of... Um, uh, funky design here with spaceships and all different things. It's very reminiscent of System76 uh, with their designs, which is which is fine. I mean, you know, what do they say? Uh, um, you know, mimicry or copying is, is the greatest form of uh, flattery. So um, take it as a compliment, I guess. On the side, we see Aquarius M10 and some details on the back. So as I said before, it has a MediaTek uh, processor, um, which isn't the top of the line processor, but uh, for, for this purpose should be absolutely fine. Uh, it is a 10.1 inch display, full HD, meaning 1080p. Uh, the chip, the MediaTek chip is a quad core Cortex A53, M as in Mary, T as in Thomas, 8163A as in Apple. So there's 16 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM. There is a micro SD slot, so that's really cool. You can expand the memory uh, probably up to 128 gigabytes, but I wouldn't be surprised if a 200 gig card would work in here as well, uh, which I do have. Uh, GPS, onboard GPS, awesome. Micro HDMI, so you could use a micro HDMI to full HDMI cable or adapter to connect this to a TV or to a monitor. And that's one of the big things with um, Canonical and with Ubuntu was um, uh, convergence. So the idea is this is a tablet that could also serve as a desktop computer um, or kind of a laptop of sorts when you add a, um, let's say, a portable keyboard or keyboard cover. Uh, the battery is 7280 mAh. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. There's an 8 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixel front camera. Uh, let's see. Anything else worth looking at? Nope. Same thing on this side. So let's go ahead and open the box. So it looks like this slides out. Ooh, that's a nice shade of red. And I guess that these dots are BQ's logo because it also is seen at the top here in different colors. This is my first experience with a BQ device, which um, as an American um, is normal. I mean, the BQ doesn't really make devices for the USA typically. Whoa. All right, so there's the tablet. I'm going to put that to the side for a moment. All right, let's see. Inside we have some sort of a booklet. Let's see. We have a manual that shows accessories. So you can buy a case. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a case for this. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's uh, like a nice stand case. I like that. That you could also use it to kind of prop it up for typing. Is that the only accessories is cases? Uh, what's on the rear here? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, micro HDMI cable and OTG cable. So OTG cable, cable meaning that you can connect full-size USB devices such as a keyboard, a mouse. Um, I actually have a USB um, uh, OTG hub um, uh, with the tablet, uh, which allows four USB devices to be plugged in. So let's say a keyboard, a mouse, uh, things like that. All right, so inside the box, now again, this is not being sold, I believe, in the U.S., 
um, you know, in stores or anything. So if you order it from the web, uh, you will get a, you can definitely buy it and have it shipped to the US, but it looks like it comes out of the box with a European style plug. As you can see, it's a USB adapter. You probably have a lot of adapters at home, so if you have um, any kind of a USB charger, it should probably work here to charge this tablet. Also in the box is a micro USB cable um, for the charging, um, which is branded with BQ, which is a nice touch. Let's see what else we have here. And the rest is empty. So basically, what are you getting in the box? You're getting, you're getting the, uh, oh, there's some more manuals. Let me go through the manuals here. So there's a uh, quick start guide, gives some information, how to install a micro SD card, um, shows you where all the things are on here, such as where the microphone is, where the power button is. Um, if you guys want to pause that video, you can kind of see that there. And I'll put this here too. And it's weird for me to see something that is um, not in English first. So as an American, typically our, our, our products have American as the primary language, and then you might see Spanish and French below that, Italian, things like that. English is always primary. So as this is coming from, um, from Europe, I believe this is kind of geared towards Europe, um, English is not the first language. Okay. Here is a booklet about the Aquarius M10 in a bunch of different languages. And enjoy the benefits of a five-year warranty. So this comes with a five-year warranty. All right, so let's take a look at the tablet itself. This is really what I'm excited about. As someone, uh, you know, as a Linux user who loves Ubuntu, um, something like this, a, 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 a tablet running Ubuntu is something that I've wanted for, for years, many, many years. Uh, and here it finally is. So this is a um, a review unit sent to us from BQ. Um, I say that just so I can explain a bit. So let's see. So here's a power button. So I can get that to focus a bit better. We have a power button. A bit hard to see. We have a volume rocker here on the bottom. Right, so at the bottom we have nothing. On the other side we have two ports. So we have micro uh, USB for charging, micro HDMI to connect to a monitor or a TV, and a three and a half millimeter headset adapter, or headset port I should say, for connecting headphones or connecting um, to a stereo device. On the top uh, looks like a microphone hole and a micro SD card slot. Now, I appreciate having a slot, however, I prefer, now this is like a spring-loaded slot, you press it in, I prefer a slot that is covered, um, because let's say you're storing important files on an SD card, I don't want it to accidentally fall out, or hit it with my finger and make it pop out. So, you know, if you're just putting media files on there, like movies and stuff to watch, it's totally fine, um, but if you were putting like business files on here or something, and you, you know, you don't want to lose that card, I, I really prefer having a design where it's covered up. But okay, um, let's go ahead and power it on. See if it powers on. I don't know if it has any power um, from it was sent to me. Oh, I should show on the rear here, there is uh, the BQ logo as well as a camera. This number four is on here. Uh, again, this is a review unit from BQ. Um, so uh, this is probably like review number, view, review unit number four. Um, this will go back to BQ. All right, so let's see. Ubuntu, and you can kind of see me there on camera. Whoa, battery critical. So they sent it to me with 1% charge remaining, and it's dead. So you can kind of see some fingerprints on here. So this, this was used by somebody else prior to me. Um, again, this is a review unit from BQ. Uh, I am noticing here dual front stereo speakers. That's nice to have dual speakers uh, that will direct sound towards the user. Um, just having stereo speakers is appreciated. Having them front facing is even better. Um, so I don't know how great of a media device this is going to be. Uh, however, if you wanted to load it up with music files and let's say the SD card and then play it back, um, that should work great. And having front speakers 
again, I have to test them and see how, how they sound, if they're loud, are they clear? But just having front-facing speakers is really appreciated. So that's it, guys. This is a BQ Aquarius M10 unboxing uh, with an ugly number four sticker on the back. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. If you have any questions about the BQ Aquarius M10, just leave them in the comments below. I'm going to test it. Let me show you some stuff here. Let's see if I have anything. Um, yeah, let me get some stuff here. Here's some stuff that was sent with the tablet for review purposes. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, here is a, it says Android, this will work with any device, should even work with Windows uh, with a micro USB tablet. Um, so this is a micro USB OTG hub. So if you see here, it's micro USB on this end, and then there's two ports on that side, two ports on that side, four USB type A ports. So I could plug in, let's say, a keyboard, a mouse. This is not powered, however, so, uh, so you might not be able to plug in, let's say, a, uh, you can't expect this to power um, uh, a mechanical hard drive, a USB mechanical hard drive, for instance. It's not powered, but this will allow you to hook up a keyboard, a mouse, when you also hook up a um, micro HDMI. Uh, cable to this and hook up to a monitor. You now have essentially a desktop keyboard mouse desktop convergence all convergence y'all um, Okay, also uh, I have a Bluetooth mouse that came with this tablet again It doesn't come in the box with the tablet normally this is for review purposes um, But it's actually a really cool mouse because it has orange buttons here on the side the brand is called TechNet, but it's actually a really good feeling mouse. It's Bluetooth um, and it has orange buttons, which are really reminiscent of Ubuntu. Uh, very cool. So even if you didn't have a USB OTG hub, uh, you could use a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, um, set that up using the touch screen, uh, and basically just connect via HDMI uh, to a monitor and you have yourself a little desktop. Very cool. So if you have any questions, like I said, guys, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I will do an official review at Beta News once I get some, uh, you know, maybe a week or so of using this tablet, actually using it day to day. Uh, I want to test out web browsing, installing apps, um, listening to music, watching movies, things like that. Uh, so, like I said, leave, leave comments below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, if you want to leave a nice comment, make me feel good about myself, <laughs> that's always appreciated. Uh, but liking my videos and subscribing is great too. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.